and here, oh, we'll see him again with his amazingness, amazing draw play, and we'll see if it does anything, and he was able to take off um, Rilly's uh, fourth, ex third expansion, third expansion, um, and, oh, unfortunately for Fozian, um, his drop is not going to be very effective. He only gets one or two SEVs from those um, vultures. And looking here, um, again, really still has that map um, advantage. He has that map control. Um, so, Rosian really needs to do something right now um, and slow really down uh, before really is out of control. And we see a drop ship of um, uh, from really as well, and really taking that 11 o'clock expansion. But Vosian is going to be able to scout that and um, take that out rather easily. And oh, unfortunately for um, really, that drop ship is scouted um, and taken out by um, Vosian's race. Fozian um, now take, trying to take his fourth expansion, third expansion, and, um, from the four o'clock position, and I don't think uh, really has scouted that yet. But um, yes, this is what he really needs to do at the moment. He needs to be able to secure expansions, get that economy going, and macro up, and macro up. Right now, he's building another starport. I don't know why he's bringing. I don't know. Uh, maybe he's just building more of that Wraith Force to give him sight for his siege tanks. But unfortunately, a, a surround here for um, Frozian with those, oh, those that mind drag was so good, so good. Again, uh, really um, putting himself at the bottom of that hill. I don't know if that's a smart idea because Frozian now has the hill. And that's actually, even though really has the advantage in terms of army size, real um, Frozen has the upper hill, so he is able to um, shell really um, if he does scan. Um, oh, science special for, or sorry, science facility for um, Frozen. Um, I think he's just going to use that and give him some sight. Maybe. Maybe science vessels and D matrix. That might be. That might actually work. Um, but we'll have to see. Because um, the D matrix is very very strong. Uh, when you have um, a mirror matchup and those tanks are just auto attacking, um, and th that D matrix does give a lot of effective HP for those um, siege tanks. Right now, um, I would still give the favor, um, the advantage to really, just because of the army size and the economic advantage that he has uh, so far, and we see a decent amount of race from um, Frozen, and they do have um, cloak, and they are going to try to take out those guys because before they can react, and there goes the scan, but um, Frozen is able to take those those guys and do. Um, a significant amount of damage to those siege tanks. Um, I guess this is really good play from Fozian, um, but uh, I, uh, they are going to be. Um, oh wow! Okay, th that in, that's Ray Force is actually able to t pick off um, all of all but one of um, Froze uh, really Goliath, and they did take out the last Goliath. That is very smart. And now they're going to wreak havoc, wreak havoc on Really's army unless he is able to um, have more Goliaths up and uh, really expanding once again, as well as Frosian. Um, and very soon, this entire map is. Oh, I believe every single um, expansion is taken on this map at the moment. Now, um, Frozen is going to harass the 11 o'clock position, but instead, um, really is going to just push right in and um, get. Oh, wow! Just break through Frozen's siege line right there with uh, vultures and all his tanks. And now, uh, Frozen is at, is at a disadvantage because he is at the bottom of the hill and um, really does have that um, event, uh, map advantage at the moment, but those wraiths are coming in and they are going to do so much damage to those siege tanks, but um, just caught in transition by um, really Goliaths. I, I 
think that's a decent size. Oh wow, look at so many. Oh wow, the, yes, another siege tank. Oh, just going down to those um, raves. I think. Um, I don't know. This game is so even. I don't want. Uh, I. I would. I gave the favor, um, the advantage in favor of really, but um, with those harassments, Frozen is evening the field. Um, what we are waiting right now is um, just a really good initiation from one of those uh, players, and then we'll see an epic, epic match um, matchup uh, in terms of the siege tanks. Uh, but that's another reason. Oh wow, four dropships, four dropships, four really, um, and that's going to really help in terms of um, the jockeying for position. Part of my pun there, um, but <laughs> mm, I don't know. Those four, sorry, five dropships. Those are five dropships, full of um, units, um, tanks and vultures. I would assume. I saw the tanks go in, but I'm not too sure about the. Oh, wow. A Valkyrie, a Valkyrie, um, from really, I, it's going to help a lot in terms of um, warding off those race. But one Valkyrie, I don't think it's enough to take that out the, that massive band of um, wraiths. If um, he does get a couple more, they will be extremely effective. And um, Frozen once again trying to harass with that um, with that uh, band of wraiths. Forces and oh, uh, really just dropping on that four o'clock expansion and just setting up everywhere, destroying, destroying Frozen's economy. Just look at that. And we do have the race coming in now. Um, and those Goliaths, I believe, will be able to take them out. Out. Oh, it'll be pretty even. But I, yeah, yeah, those Goli um, Goliaths will be taken out by um, the race, unfortunately. Um, but really making a really good um, decision here, just pushing again, pushing through um, Frozen's siege line right here, and he is winning with that um, with that force and. Um, Frozen's rape forces are picking off the rest, the remainder of the siege tanks that um, tried to take down the four o'clock expansion. Um, when, again, this is so, this is like World War One, you know, in the trenches, each side just waiting for the other to come over so they can get shelled. Oh, but wow, look at that! The race are just taking. I think they took three. Uh, sea tanks four, and with it uh, a fifth, a six. Wow, um, Frozen just doing a really good job picking off those tanks. And now look at that massive, massive ball of um, siege tanks for Frozen. Oh, unfortunately for Frozen, he is going to get um, shelled quite a bit from um, Rilly's tanks. And again, look at that position. Look at that position. So the lower ground, lower ground for Frozen, and the higher ground for uh, Rilly. That is making quite a different but I think the X factor in this game is definitely the wraiths and the wraiths have been doing such a good job picking off those Goliaths, picking off those tanks um, they have been doing such a good job but oh wow wow unfortunately for Frozen those wraiths are going to get um, decimated by um, really Goliaths and um, Frozen knowing this he has to back off he has to back off and and, and put himself in a better position. Um, and wow, Frozen really committing to his um, rave force. So many uh, raves. Um, I, I've never seen raves so heavily used in TBT. Um, but I guess they do really help with the site. And five, six um, dropships um, from really, I think they were just the ones that um, he had before. Um, just ready, getting ready to load up more units and going for that harassment again. And Frozen, um, right now, uh, he's on the back foot because he really needs to do more with his race. And yes, he is doing quite a bit. Oh, taking down that engineering bay. I don't know if that was a smart idea. He should have maybe just went for the tanks. And now, uh, really just dropping on top of those siege tanks of um, Frozen, but unfortunately losing uh, his 
quite a bit of uh, drop shifts in the process, and unfortunately for really, he's going to lose quite a bit of forces in that uh, skirmish there. And oh, wow, that was just so many raves, just so many raves. I don't know how um, really is going to deal with this. I mean, look at those, look at those raves. It's Science Vessel again for uh, Frozen. Um, hmm, that's very interesting. If you are going to use your buildings for sight, I would recommend Engineering Engineering B because of their um, the high hit, hit points and relatively cheap. And now I'm um, really pushing in with his um, army. And oh, but look at all those Goliaths! They just they're just focusing on nothing but the race. They're doing such a good job. Um, Really doing a good job um, countering this um, this heavy investment by Pozzi and putting everything into his race, building that force. But wow, really, it did a really good job um, countering those race with his massive army of Goliaths. Um, yeah, I think um, really is going to be able to take this game. Um, Right now, uh, really is kind of divided. He's going for um, he's going for Frozian's expansion, but also trying to uh, prevent Frozian from um, pushing towards his uh, main and taking <laughs> taking his taking Frozian's expansion. Um, I don't know if you can just call that bad manners or just if that was just a tactical move um, being uh, Frozian. Er, really knows that um, he's able to take that expansion. That as if he is uh, unable to finish that command center and Frozian GG's. Oh, wow. Um, looking at the game, I think Frozian did a very good job uh, harassing with his race, but I don't think he did enough to be able to make a difference. Um, and because of that, uh, really was able to just macro his way and steamroll Frozian in this game. Uh, thank you for watching and I will be commentating um, the next game for this matchup. XX Soul is 3 and Wujin Star is finally winning their first game in this matchup. Um, thanks for listening and I'll see you guys then. Bye.